Hi, dear students. The topic of uh, today's discussion is linear dielectrics, susceptibility, permittivity, and dielectric constants in the linear dielectrics. Okay, linear dielectrics means these are the materials that do not have polarization themselves, but if they are placed in an external electric field they develop a polarization P that is a polarization is proportional to the electric field that is a electric field should not be strong okay that is let us say polarization P is proportional to E if I replace this proportionality then this P can be written as I Epsilon 0, I introduce a new quantity that is chi E and E. Chi E, the new quantity that is called the electric susceptibility. That is the epsilon 0 introduced here is to make this chi e dimensionless okay. now this electric field e this is not the external electric field this electric field is a electric field due to the applied field plus field due to the polarization this e can be this e is not the applied field this but this electric field is the applied field that is this applied field is suppose I have a free charges here rho f in this external field if I keep my dielectric material then the this dielectric material gets polar, get polarized. This external field will induce a polarization P in this dielectric material. Clear. As a result, the bound charges develops in this material, rho B. Then the electric field E is the electric field due to the applied electric field plus the electric field generated due to this polarization. Okay. Therefore, this uh, this applied field because of due to free charges applied field produced by the free charges plus field due to polarization electric field E is the combination of both the applied field and also the field due to the polarization okay the meaning of chi E this chi E is a electric susceptibility which means how susceptible the system for the applied electric field or how responsible the system is to the applied field applied field okay that is the meaning of the electric susceptibility a dielectric medium that satisfies this equation let's say this is equation number one that is called a linear dielectric medium Provided E is not too strong. Okay, if the electric field is stronger, then the situation will be different. There will be other terms like E square, E cube, etc. will come into the picture. 
then the case will be the non-linear dielectrics. If we put a piece of dielectric into an external electric field, we cannot compute the polarization speed directly from this relation. That we cannot compute actually. Why the external field that will polarize the material and this polarization will produce its own field which then contributed to the total field. Okay. Then to find out the polarization P the simplest approach is to calculate first the um, electric displacement vector T. Electric displacement vector T. That is the simplest uh, way of calculating the electric polarization because it is finding out E is quite difficult because this E arises due to the uh, polarized charges. The charges arise because of the polarization and also the external charges that produces the field. Then the D can be easily find out from the free charge distribution. Because we, we already we have developed an equation that is d dot dA is equal to QF. Well, this is the free charge speed, the amount of charge we supply to the system. Then because of the charges, the material will get polarized. Then you can easily find out the electric displacement D. From this electric displacement, you can find out the polarization. Okay. And then next our target is how we will find out the electric displacement vector D in the case of a linear dielectric material. Okay. We have in linear medium. The electric displacement vector D is equal to epsilon 0 E plus P. Just now we have seen in the linear dielectric material P is equal to epsilon 0 chi E into E. Just to substitute here, this will be epsilon 0 E plus epsilon 0 chi E E. Here take epsilon 0 outside. 1 plus chi e e here this quantity this can be replaced by epsilon r or k this is nothing but the dielectric constant or relative to permittivity of the dielectric medium of the dielectric material. Therefore, the D can be written as electric displacement vector. One can write epsilon 0, this epsilon R into the electric field. Okay. Further, we know that relative permittivity epsilon R can be written as epsilon by epsilon 0 or epsilon 0 into epsilon R can be written as epsilon. This epsilon is nothing but the permittivity of the material or permittivity of the dielectric medium. Okay. Then I will replace this is by epsilon. Therefore, our D can be written as epsilon E. This is a electric displacement in a dielectric material having the dielectric uh, having the permittivity. Excellent. Okay. Now, if you come back to, to this expression here, this epsilon r can be written as from this one, epsilon r can be written as 1 plus chi e, or instead of this epsilon r, you can write this as a using this expression epsilon by epsilon 0 is equal to 1 plus chi e 
or epsilon is equal to epsilon 0 into 1 plus chi e. This is the permittivity of the dielectric material. This relation connects the electric susceptibility and the permittivity of the material. We were discussing about the dielectric medium, linear dielectric medium. Now, let us come to the non-linear dielectric medium. Non-linear dielectric material. Actually, in linear dielectric material, we found that the polarization P is equal to epsilon 0 chi e e. If the material is non-linear, then the polarization non-linear dielectric the polarization depends upon the direction. In linear dielectric material, the polarization does not depend upon the direction, but in the case of non-linear dielectric material, the polarization depends on the direction, that is direction dependent. Therefore, uh, such a dielectric cannot satisfy the relation P is equal to epsilon 0 chi e. In such cases, susceptibility this chi e is to be replaced by a susceptibility tensor. Susceptibility is to be replaced by susceptibility tensor. I will write this equation in the case of nonlinear di dielectrics in the following way. That is here. Polarization will also depend upon the direction. That is Px, Py, Pz equal to epsilon zero. Then this will be chi e. Chi e xs, chi e xy. Ex, ey, ez. Okay. Uh, this, this is called a susceptibility tensor. Susceptibility tensor. Okay. This is a case of. Uh, yeah, this is the. Uh, in the case of the non-linear dielectric. Now we will address a, a question that is uh, if, we, if a parallel plate capacitor is filled with a insulating material of dielectric constant epsilon r what effect does this have on its capacitance? Okay, That is here we will see the application of dielectrics in the capacitor by a capacitor the separation between the plates is D and the electric field generator is E0 the relation connecting the charge and the capacitor that is Q is equal to CV C is equal to Q by V without inserting without this is the without dielectric let us say this is a q0 this is v0 without dielectric and v0 you know that uh, that is e0 into d now let me put a dielectric material between the capacitor plates Post dielectric constant is epsilon r without dielectric this is our separation is d and electric field is e0 now the same way this is also our d
Now, after placing the dielectric material between the capacitor plates, the electric field will be decreased by a factor E0 divided by epsilon r. This we have already discussed earlier. That is, the dielectric will reduce the electric field by a factor 1 by epsilon r. If uh, E reduces, then the capacitance in the new case, I can write C E C is equal to Q by E D, where Q divided by, instead of E, I can write this one, X0, E0 divided by X1 R into D. This is nothing but uh, this time is nothing but the new pot new potential potential difference. This is nothing but V. Here you can see that this potential difference between the capacitor plates now is decreased by a factor one by x zero zero r. That is, in effect, if in this expression if the potential V decreases by this uh, factor 1 by epsilon 0 R then the capacitance increases that is why uh, if you introduce a dielectric material between the capacitor plates having the dielectric constant epsilon R its potential decreases and also the capacitance increases. Or in another way, if I rewrite this as a question, this is C E C is equal to, it will come in the numerator, it is epsilon R Q divided by epsilon 0 T. This quantity is nothing but our C0. Therefore, this can be written as this is nothing but C0. Therefore, this can be written as epsilon R C0. Or, this is C is equal to epsilon R C0. C is equal to epsilon R C0. That is, the capacitance increases by a factor x on r. The conclusion is the introduction of a dielectric material between the capacitor plates increases the capacitance by an amount which is equal to the dielectric constant of that material. Okay, thank you very much.